Well, it's me again, guys, and um, one of the coolest parts is about keeping reptiles is checking out the animals. I mean, why wouldn't you fall in love with these little beauties right here? I mean, we've got a few little cool things here we're expecting eggs from. Something like this girl right here. She's uh, nice and full right there. So, uh, such a beautiful temperament female as well. That's pretty cool. That's a albino spotted python. Uh, look at this girl right here. She's um, very full of eggs. So uh, I actually call that inversion. So they invert themselves. They're actually rolling onto their backs, you know, trying to uh, cook their eggs a bit more all round. So not only on their bellies, but they flip over on their backs. Check that out. That's a pretty cool sign. And obviously, um, we want to see eggs. So eggs, eggs are the final outcome. Like these little puppies right here. These guys were laid a little bit earlier today. That's not a bad clutch of eggs. These guys were dropped last night. So there again, a nice clutch of eggs. Um, here's another female laying in the inverted position right there. very comfy at all is she but um yeah so they all get that weird twisted look about them they lay upside down they contort themselves here's another female she's doing the same sort of thing she's not really happy I've upset her but you can sort of see that contortion oh she's gone she's gone she didn't want to talk about it it's okay girl we can get over that no need to be nasty we can't be friends Oh yeah, so, but uh, something really cool that's happening right now, in my other room, this room right here, is I've got a female laying eggs as we speak, yeah. so hopefully we won't uh, upset her too much, but look at that, isn't that cool, so she's still going, she's got uh, Four eggs out. And she's got a couple more left in her. That's pretty cool, right? That's a um, that's a pygmy python right there. And her friend next door, which is this female right here, is also full of eggs. So it won't be long until those gorgeous little things hatch as well. Um, a different room, different temperatures, different requirements, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's not hard to see why you can't but fall in love with these little dirt snakes. Look at that, that little beauty right there. Hey, gorgeous, gorgeous. That's a T positive children's python. Um, Check this out. This is something a little bit cool. This guy here, right here. So that's a T positive Stimpsons python. Look at the colours in that. So let's compare the two, the Stimpsons and the children's. So the children's typically have a more, sorry, you're looking up my nose, more of a yellow colour compared to the Stimmy, which is more of a lavender looking beast. Both absolutely gorgeous critters. I love them both. What can you say? I love them. But uh, they're gorgeous little things. Are you looking up my nose? That's a bit weird. So, um, I'll put this guy back. Gorgeous. Gorgeous little snake. So, um, We'll keep you up to date with how many eggs that female actually lays, pygmy, because um, there's plenty more things in here. So there's white cards. I'm expecting clutches from those guys there. Anything with a white card, really. So there's a couple. And we've got some bigger snakes too. If we get some big snake eggs, that's pretty exciting, especially 
when you take the eggs away because they're not very happy about it and they react a little bit differently to these little guys right here. So anyway, thanks for tuning in and um, leave a comment below and I'll let you know how many eggs that pygmy python actually had. Thanks guys.